Man, this would go so much smoother if I didn't have to animate the lip syncing. Lila, have you heard about this thing called the U.S. government? Um, no. Go on. Well, apparently there's this guy named Joe Robinette Biden. Robinette? Ha! And his only goal is to make our lives worse. Apparently, this guy gets his rocks off on making gas prices higher, cutting off little kids' genitals, and making jokes not funny anymore. You know, I think we kind of brought that last one on ourselves. Hey, wait, that's not what he does! It is, Myla. I have the whole internet beamed into my brain at every given second. Do you have any idea what that does to someone? Well, actually... It makes you smarter, Myla. Like, way smarter. I know more than anyone else combined. Well, I guess exactly as much as anyone else combined. But you get my point. Something has to be done. Oh, really? What's a little guy like you gonna do to topple a centuries-old system? I'm going to register to vote. As a 17-year-old fuck. You gotta be 18 to vote. Oh, As an 18-year-old robot, I'm going to make my voice heard. And what better way than to register to vote? That's a good point. I'm still young, so I have faith in our elections and their ability to promote change. Plus, I think it's pretty cool that at least one of us can vote now. You can be like my emissary to the DNC. Ha! <laughs> what makes you think I'm registering as a Democrat? And make you what? A third party? Ha! <laughs> That's rich. You'd be better off casting your ballot into a river. I wasn't thinking about a third party either. You know, you don't have to register to be an independent. I'm talking about the Republican Party! <laughs> The r r r r republican Party? I'm sick of all this bullshit, Myla, and they're just the guys to stop it. A new member will be added to the ranks as soon as this letter is sent. Let's see here. No, no, ha, <laughs> no way. Nope, and no. Ah, uh, there it is, the good old punk. I guess from now on, you can call me Mark Elephantini. Anyway. I just wanted you to know that I registered for the party that hates you, hungry kids, gays, poor people, and non white Toodle! Pause. What you just watched was a dramatization of a conversation between two friends with differing political opinions. Now this was wrong for many reasons. Can you name one? Alright, that's enough out of you. What you were supposed to notice was the lack of political nuance. Bias, we all have it, and this opener was a great example of it. Imagine if this opener was written by an optimist. Anyway, I just wanted you to know that I registered for the part of you that values economic growth, border security, and traditional American Christian values. Or a true neutralist. I just wanted to let you know that I registered for a party that has existed since 1854, has approximately 40 million registered voters, and has a president of their party over America for a collective 88 years and 63 days. Or hell, maybe even my evil counterpart with my opposite views. I register for the party that can do children flat hate white people and will take all your guns. We let this happen to our nation because we didn't listen to the Lord! But out of all biases, I got perhaps the most played out one. A liberal one. But here's hoping it's appealing to you. Oh shit, it's time for the intro I'll use for every episode of this show. Ever wonder what's going on in politics? I mean, you're vaguely left-leaning, but you don't really pay attention to what's going on. You just kind of vote left because that's your climate and your weirdly political friend is telling you to. Well, I'm that friend now, for all of you. Whether you're looking for an explanation for something, or maybe you're just looking for someone to hard agree with, then I'm your gal. And yes, I'm a girl. The liberal brain rot runs deep. Let's get into this shit. Love, watch, or hate, Raj, you're in for a ride. Anyways, I was interrupting something, right? You came for the cartoon, and much like woke executives, I wait until you're engrossed in the narrative and then take my political motives and- Mark! You can't just vote red! You're gonna ruin everything! Remember the chip shortage? I don't know about you, but I can't live through another one. That started under Trump. Really? I made up my mind and I ain't changing it. Now as soon as this government worker, who I hate and think should be paid way less, comes to pick it up, I'll be red as ruby. But what Markbot didn't know is that his seemingly innocuous registration would set up a devastating chain of events that would forever change the world. Mail call! Says here you got a letter from some Macronium. Do you know anybody by the name of Macronium? I don't believe I do. Give it here. Oh yes. 
<laughs> yes. 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 Did you just hear something? Huh? Oh, sorry. I was muted. I need a full immersion to listen. Didn't we already play this? Yeah, but it wasn't celebrated as much as I wanted it to be. With the robot in our mix, the Dems are cooked. Is he some sort of air fryer? Even better, with his programmability, we'll have him spewing so much propaganda, you'll think he's being paid to. First, we flip PA back to our side, and soon the rest of the Northeast shall follow suit. That's nice. Would you like me to send him a traditional Republican welcome basket? Hold off. I have something even better for him. Markbot, don't you know that your seemingly innocuous registration will set off a devastating chain of events that will forever change the world for the worse? Not really. What did I sign myself up for? Finally, something I can answer. Despite what the mainstream might have you believe, registering for a political party ain't all that important. It's not some rigid set of guidelines enforcing you to vote one way or the other. It's just what it says. A party. There's only two things you get from registering for a party. The big one is primaries. When you spend five grand to run for president, you hop up on stage and hope your voter base makes you the candidate. If you're a Democrat, these primaries don't really matter because they're rigged. And if you're a Republican, it doesn't matter because 100% of them want Trump. If you're a third party, I don't know, I guess they come to your door and you just point at which one you want. Point is, you get to feel like you're a part of something. The other thing? Ads. Tons and tons of ads. And I'm not talking about good ones either. I'm talking bottom of the barrel, varnish drinking, low IQ ads. I'm not even registered to a party and these guys won't stop talking my ear off. And yes, I mean both parties. Whether it's Adam Schiff, Myla, can you give him $15? Or Donald Trump, Myla, you've betrayed Donald Trump. Give $15 to get back in his favor. Your inbox will be looking like my lay in 1968. Too many Americans where they don't belong. Oh, that's cool. So what happens after primary? Well... <coughs> oh, excuse me. <laughs> oh, wait, it's an email. Dear Mark, we appreciate your interest in joining the Pennsylvania chapter of the Republican Party. It is a great honor that I, John Smith Joe Jackson, am welcoming you in with open arms in a completely not gay way. We wholeheartedly await your diligence and servitude as our first official non-human member. Official methods of volunteering will be sent to you at a later date. Ah, sweet. It even came with a digit. How do I look? Tacky. It's like I've always dreamed of. Anyway, you were saying something. What happens after the primary? Oh, you, you know, the, the general election. And then, like, your candidate either wins or loses? Huh. I guess there really isn't that much to talk about. Hmm. Hey, why don't you talk about the candidates? Seeing as I'm going to be voting, I'd like to know for who at least. That sounds like a good way to pad out the runtime. Sure, let's go through the 2024 contenders. First, let's look at the left. There's only two people dumb enough to challenge the incumbent. One of them is the one you say you like to sound smart and nuanced, and the other is some misguided crazy person who's being enabled by the far right because they like seeing the mentally ill suffer. Also, he sounds like this. I would end subsidies, and then I would let marketplace determine, and what's going to happen is... On the other hand, your camp, we have a bit more diversity. Starting with the big one, we have... Uh-oh. Why if I take this? Go ahead. I've never seen this before, so it's probably important. Hang on. It's a video call. Hang on. They're calling it system. Let me pass you through my TV. Ah, much better. Like I was saying, Mr. Rhodium, it's an honor. Your name is Mark Ronium? Ha! <laughs> is something else there with you? It was my understanding that you lived alone. Well, yeah. See that corner over there? Talk about a bachelor pad. No, this TV's at a stationary angle. Anyways, who's there? You mean Myla? She's harmless. She's not old enough to move. She... wait, you don't mean... A transgender? Yeah, I guess so. I mean, it doesn't really come up. Irredeemable! Mark has the newest soldier of the RNC. I order you to kill that vile, wretched excuse for a human. Yeah, no can do, buddy. I'm an ally. And by that, I mean that, as a robot, I'm inherently gentleman. Besides, do you think I'm capable of murder? I'm closer to a squishable plushie than a WFD. No matter. However much programming was done by a trans woman can be easily undone with a little bit of circuit washing. Mark, don't you 
DARE DOWNLOAD THAT ATTACHED FILE! Well, seeing as I trust you, I see no reason not to... MARK! NO! Too late. Hey, check it out! I'm evil now! Jeez, Myla, have you always been this repulsive and loathsome? Depends on who you ask. Doesn't matter. Point is, I'd like to kill you now. Alright, buddy. Let's put you back in your crate until you wind down. What? No! I'm an enemy! Put me back down! What's going to do you, you know? Hey, it's either this or I turn you off. Fine. I'll be quiet. Now for you, Mr. John Smith Joe Jackson. Get the hell off my TV! You messed with the wrong naive robot! It doesn't matter. Now that we've tested our reprogramming project, we'll infect every robot in the state. Soon they'll be spouting off like Facebook in 2016. Not like it'll make much of a difference. The media's already radicalizing people left and right. You haven't heard the last from me. Alright, Mark. Let's figure out how to deprogram you. A few hours later. Well, Mark, it took a bit in some of my best programming socks, but I did it. You should be good as new. Oh, dang! How long is that? Kind of blacked out after I downloaded that transition file. Only took. A couple minutes, that's all. I'm definitely a competent programmer. I'm sorry for calling all the rocket. I didn't mean for all that to happen. It's alright, buddy. I know you didn't mean any harm. Hey, can you finish telling me about the Republican candidate? I'd be delighted to. Like I was saying, the main candidate to speak of is Donald Trump, but as we discussed in a previous video, his viability is up in the air. There's a bunch of other guys running, but let's cut the fluff. Most of these guys just tossed their hat in because they were bored. Here's, in my mind, the remotely serious slash notable candidates. Chris Christie, Ron DeSantis, Nikki Haley, Asa Hutchinson, Mike Pence, Vivek Ramaswamy, and Tim Scott. But even though, let's be real, even these guys don't have that much of a shot. I mean, if the GOP goes the way of the Democrats, then I guess Ron DeSantis or Mike Pence might be up. But if I could have it my way, then Chris Christie would ascend to the throne he was always meant to. Maybe he can close every beach in America. So that's that, and I ain't changing it. Personally, I think another four years of Trump would be hilarious, but I'm even cooler with Biden. Did we learn a lesson today, Mark? Yes, Myla. And what might that be? Vote blue no matter who. What's that? I don't think I heard you quite right. Vote blue no matter who. That's better. Alright, show's over. Get the camera out of here. It's time for me and Mark to watch some all-new episodes of Futurama. Our program was terminated. Just by luck. The first robot registration had to be accompanied by a transsexual woman. You'll get them next time. Anyway, those ladyboys you ordered are here. Would you like me to send them in? Yes, please. That'll be all for tonight. What? I'm gathering research. Yeah, that's it. Research. This Myla and Mark duo won't know what hit him. <laughs> oh, shit. You think the future will look anything like this? Nah, too bright. Yeah, you're right. <laughs>